Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about all about the LM toolkit in Power BI. It is available only for the premium initially now as the premium per user has launched so it is also available for that. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. First of all you need to have a premium workspace or else premium per user workspace and then you have to make some small changes on the capacity settings of your admin tenant if you look at this icon it is premium per user license for this testing workspace now you have to go to settings and then admin portal here you have this option premium per user preview if you click there you have these options auto refresh you have to click on if you need it and change detection measure these things which i am going to cover later stage and then here the data set workload settings the xmla endpoint basically it will be a read only you have to turn this as read write and then click on apply after that you have to download the alm toolkit you can visit this alm-toolkit.com is a free and open source tool to manage Microsoft Power BI datasets is basically application lifecycle management. You can download the latest version here. Once you've downloaded, let's go to this Power BI desktop and under the external tools, it will pop up here. ALM toolkit. Basically, this is a Power BI file which has a summary of all the videos which is available on my channel. This Excel file has been shared with you for your information. Okay, first of all, let's tell you why ALM toolkit, all right? So basically application lifecycle management, you have two developers working on the same data set, the two different projects. And now you have decided to merge these two reports into one. Whatever the measures they have created, you are going to merge it into one. On that case, you have to do it manually from copying from one PBX file to another one. But using this tool, that's not the case. You can just check it out and push all the measures or whatever the changes you have made to this report. That's one thing. Not only for these two Bobby desktop files, you can also do this with the Bobby service as well. For an example, another example is if you have the files published on Bobby service, now you have made some changes on the Bobby desktop file, the same thing and you want to deploy it into a Power BI service. You can deploy your Power BI service as a regular basis or else you can use this ALM toolkit to just replace the measures or add the measures over there. Let's go to this demo. So open this Power BI desktop and in the external tools you will have this one. I have two opened up this Power BI desktop file. So one is with one count of measures and another one is the same thing so let's compare this one for now so click on this lm toolkit okay once it is open click on compare it will open up this window here the source and then the target basically you can if you have the data set on power bi service you can click here and from there you can copy it here now the question is from where you can copy this one right so let's go to the power bi service Here on the testing workspace, if you go to your premium or VM per user workspace, and then if you click on the settings here, and then you click on premium, there you will get this option workspace connection. This you have to copy and then apply the same thing here on the workspace area. And if you update this one, if you click on data set, it will list out all the data set available on that workspace. For that, you need to sign into your Power BI service in order to get those information here. Yeah, it will show all the data set available here to which you want to compare. You can compare it here. So I'm going to click here and then I'm using the local file from your Power BI desktop. There are two files I have opened here. I'm going to compare with this one and click OK. So if you look at here, it is saying the model is the same definition between these two files and the expression these are the same definitions here 
whereas here the measure which is missing it here in source and is available on the target so you got this option like you want to delete this or how it is or you can skip this one basically the source and then the target now and there's a difference between the tables between this and then the this and then click on validate selection it will give a message here update table data set here and click ok actually it has to be a reverse way right so you don't have option like you can reverse the selection here once again you have to go to compare and then select the pop desktop file here and that workspace data set here so click ok now now the source is Power Desktop and the target is Power Service. See here, so you have this count of measures and it is missing in the target. So we got this plus symbol here and this option like create. So you can create this one or skip this one for now because if something which is not clear to you and is still under development and you don't want to publish those things into Power Service, you can skip this for now. But later on, once it is done, you can create those measures and there's a changes in the definitions as well for this one okay once it is done you click on this validate selection and then okay it will give this message about the changes which might require if you're okay and confident that to update this into Power service click on update before to that let's go and have a look at the report in Power BI service itself so here this is the workspace and let me open up that report google sheet in power bi edit the report if you look at this on the fields pane there is no measure here group playlist title and video url whereas in power bi desktop we have one measure here so here in lm toolkit i am going to click on update are you sure you want to update the target yes so success so success metadata deployed success 204 rows data has been deployed and the table has been changed so click close now updated the target do you want to refresh the comparison yes to make sure whether the update has been successfully done or not even though the message has shown as success so just to make sure so now everything is perfectly matching so same definition everywhere here so you have this option here in the select action option you have this option hide skip object skip object with same definitions if you click here nothing will show up here because everything is same in definition here now if you click on this power desktop and if you make some changes here just for an example you are just keeping here and copy and paste here adding a, another one chart here instead of that Because we have added the measure, so it is showing it in a definition that something has changed over there. And if I just change on the visualization part, let's compare again. Compare again with the desktop and the target. Because I have added a new visual on the Power desktop, but this is not affecting here. For this one, you have to use the regular publish option. Only if there is change in the definition of the table or you have added some columns or a measure, you can use it here. Now let's try one thing with adding an additional column. So click here and add a new column in Power BI Desktop. So I will call it as dummy column test. Click enter. Now let's add one more measure just for an example. So I'm going to add new measure distinct count of group so i'm going to add this as well as in the card so five groups are there so click save for this one actually i'm making changes on the alm okay so let's go and compare here and select the source as this one and click on ok 
So now it has shown that a new column has been added in the table definition and a new measure has already created here. Whereas the rest of the thing, nothing has changed here. So click on validate selection and OK. And then click on update. Now these two things are going to affect on the Power BI service, the additional column as well as the additional measure. So it's done. Click OK and let's go to Power BI. Let's refresh this again to make sure that the update has been done or not. So everything is same definition. That's clear now. Let's go to Power BI service. Refresh this report. We added one card here and table and the graph as a visualization part. Click on edit report. So here, if you look at the visualization part, nothing has changed here. Whereas on the table part, a dummy column has been added here as well as the group count is added here. So it is going to affect only the part of the table definition measures and the columns is not going to impact on the visualization part. So this is about the ALM toolkit. You can just compare the data set of it, the measures and then the column. So you can't able to change about the visualization part here. So if you like this video and got this in-depth about the ALM toolkit, just hit on the like button. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.